Hello, Overray Troop. Welcome back. I'm the real Andy Overray Hills, and welcome to another piece of tea of the day. Girl, right now we're gonna be leaving, or you know, Bravo Streets. We're gonna go a little bit into the YouTube Streets because we need to talk about, of course, Trisha Paytas. Um, she is uploading this TikTok, trying to talk about her experiences. Then she is uh, talking about her past, her present, all of that, and of course, people are reacting to it as usual so we definitely need to talk about it to see what do you guys think but before we get into it do not forget to subscribe hit the notification bell if you want to support my channel now you can do it through the thank bottom right here and let's talk about this uh, mess hey yo meal no Is not here right now. Erica, I don't have to make you look bad. You can do that on your own. Better? Is bitch better? I'm shaking. I'm physically shaking. So, uh, yeah, Miss Trisha Paytas, you know, she is like a walking conspiracy at this point. Conspiracy, no, she is like a walking drama you know like there is always something going on with Trisha and I think that's just the la the, the energy that she is creating around her you know what i mean like she um she create a career out of drama and out of drama surrounding her people somehow connected with her i don't get it i mean look not hate to trisha but like i never really connect with her because i don't understand why just like crying in front of the camera while eating a thousand burgers and being on the floor how that was entertaining like i never really understand that part you know but to each its own like she had a, a huge following for a reason you know so people were definitely connecting with her but on her journey to where she is right now she definitely robbed a lot of people the wrong way a lot of other youtubers she got into a lot of drama she became the drama she became became the embodiment of drama when you think about youtube drama the first person that comes to your mind usually is trisha paytas right so it is kind of like how is she gonna change how is she gonna be something different um she has been in this journey according to her of like self-discovering trying to change herself now that she's pregnant and now that she's gonna have a baby a lot of people really say that when you have a baby you really change um Look at Snooki from uh, Jersey Shore. You know, she was crazy. She was always drama and very uh, over the top and all of that. And then she got kids. I mean, she's still Snooki, but she definitely changed for the better. So I'm thinking like, yeah, it is okay. It is possible for someone to change, for a kid to change your life. So she has constantly been on this journey of self uh discovering i guess you know because it's going to be a new trisha apparently you know or at least that's why she, that's what she wants people to believe now she uploaded this tiktok korean and so it's basically about her entire journey from being a teenager to where she is now and what it was on every single stage she says teenager uh, being friends with YouTubers who secretly created drama. Then on her 20s, she says being friends with YouTubers who are the drama. Then on her 30s, being friends with YouTuber who monetize drama. And then she says mid-30s, being married and pregnant with no time for drama. Girl, I mean... I think she is really forgetting that she was the drama, that she monetized from drama, that she invent drama, <laughs> you know, like everything. I mean, she's not taking any accountability on what she did, that she's basically blame, blaming the people around her, you know, oh, they were the one who created the fake drama. They were the ones who monetized from drama. They were the ones talking about drama. I was just here. You know, and now I don't have time for drama. Mm, I'm, look, I'm just going to say maybe, maybe you can change. But you, I mean, in order to change, you need to acknowledge who you are, you know, and who you were or which, one, which were the mistakes that you did in your past 
you know, and apologize for those, not just saying that everyone else around you was the bad person except you. I don't think it works that way. Then she uh, posed. Uh, she says, please see caption. I take full responsibility for all my past bad behavior and cancellations. She keeps saying that. I actually blame no one but me because I was the drama. This was just a silly trend because, damn, I was into the drama cycle for way too long. Life get better when you're mind your own business. If all my reckless can show anything is that you can change your life at any time. You just got to put in the works. Stay in your lane. Let things go. The moment I stop giving energy to think that doesn't matter is the moment I became powerful, happy, and content. What other thinks of you is none of your concern. Whatever they're thinking, they thinking they right. Let me be right and let you and let you be happy. Also, literally no shade or ill will to anybody I've known. Everyone comes into your life for a reason or a season. Thankful, thankful for every friendship. All about the journey. Live and learn. Okay. So people start to, you know, respond immediately. They were saying, like, Trisha dropped this comment in her recent TikTok. This comment will be more valid if she apologized to individuals that she hurt along the way. Uh, that Trisha treats friends like seasons of the year and that she is not never going to learn from this. Look, you know me, I'm very, I have a different mindset. I'm usually always saying people have the right to change, you know, and that's, a, that's an opportunity that we as individuals need to give to other ones. However, it's not about saying that you change. It's, a one, it's about showing that you change. So only time will tell. If she learned her lesson from all of this, if she really realized that she was doing so much, you know, um, she had to be pushed so much to take any accountability. You know, she had to like not even like go to rock bottom, but like even beyond that to really get some kind of acknowledge acknowledgement, you know, like now maybe the pregnancy and the hormones got everything going crazy. What is going to happen after she's not uh, pregnant anymore, like in six months after pregnancy or a year after pregnancy. So that's where really she's going to have to show the world that she is a different person. But it's all about actions like these little videos and words and, you know, captions or whatever. That's really not showing anything when you go ahead and then do something something different you know like the other day when she like promised out of nowhere i'm not gonna be doing like like holes or mukbangs and then literally next week she was doing holes and mukbangs you know so that's the kind of thing that you have to say like okay if you're not gonna do it then stop talking too much shit so let's wait and see i i'm all about giving second chances you know people change we deserve to give that chance to people but they also have to show us that they are changing so let's wait and see. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And like always, don't forget to like this video, share this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll see you around. See ya. Bye.